Hey everybody, Fresh Reviews here. Welcome back to another part of our last play of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. In the last part, uh, we, we met uh, the King of the Lions and also we got a sail. And we finally got the most important item in the game, the Wind Waker. Which can, do, which can conduct so many things, which we have to do over here, I guess. So if we plot the ocarina. I mean, not the Ocarina of the Wind Waker. <laughs> we learned Wind's Requiem. Now the wind is blowing that way. What is that? Is that a frog? It is a frog. That's on a cloud. Oh, hold on a sec, guys. <laughs> Had to take a sip. So, yep. Yeah. Also in the last part, I forgot to mention. Also in the last, I forgot to mention. Uh, we were also at Windfall Island. And now we are here at Dragon Roost Island, one of its awesome, familiar music. Let's see here. Wind Shrine and Mail Center up. Now these are something. Danger, don't attack explosive bomb flowers. And these are bomb flowers right there that we can pick up from the ground. And they are also apparently timed. Get this out of And that just gave me straight up nothing. Are you kidding me? And we are still at three hearts. Because... I don't know if we haven't did a, r a real dungeon yet. Or if I, I get any bosses at all. Okay, yeah. Now there's a bomb over here. I can just throw that. I see bombs over there, but how do we get over there? We're gonna need some sort of... Some sort of item that we probably need. Okay, throw this quick! And I missed. I guess you can say... Do I miss? Because <laughs> I haven't said that in a long time. And there we go. Now we gotta shimmy our way across over here. Which, which we have to do a whole lot in this game. Forgot to mention that. So, yeah. <laughs> It's a new day of recording. I guess I was up all night recording the first part and the second part of the and the third part of this let's play. So this is pretty much episode four over here. So yeah. Oh, that boat over there that we just saw in the corner, where uh, <laughs> where the uh. Where it was over in the first episode, it's now here too, because it's a shop. And this is the same exact guy from the first episode, so yeah. You traveled for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Is that so? <laughs> so we have to meet the chieftain now. The Rido. Rido. I thought it was Relo for a sec there, <laughs> but I guess not. Uh. Hey, 
Hey, soda's not the first important drink of the day. <laughs> but yeah, now we have to go all the way up here. But before that, I'm gonna check over here if there's any rupees. Guess not. So let's head on in. Man, all of these characters remind me of Bird Person from Rick and Morty, even though he's dead in Season 2. Quill has told me all about you. Uh, this is something. Uh, should do everything to power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have to have a problem with our don't deal with. Revan the Raging Dragon purse the top of the mountain. The Rudo tribe are probably connected to the sky we the sky spirit below dragon roost is from the scale from the dragon. So pretty much what Dragon Roost Island is, it's just pretty much Death Mountain. Pretty much. I I guess. Because there aren't any Gorons in this game. Or Zora, in that matter, because this is after. Because this is after the win. This is after Ocarina Time and the Majora's Mask timeline. This just takes place after that. <laughs> Prince Kamali. So. So, yep. <sighs> So I guess we'll probably go talk to him, I guess. That might be, maybe. Kamali of the urn of his wings. Give up to ever, give up on ever getting them. What say you? Would you share some of your courage with my son? Uh, I guess, will you meet with my son? Yeah! I thank you, but it's supposed to solve our problem as quickly as possible. I have something I wish to give to you. Um, a young girl named Mudley is holding it. I'm counting on you. Oh no, does that mean I have to bury someone? And what is this? It's a delivery bag! Rita Postman. Oh yeah, this guy is also a postman, so he's pretty much the the future postman from postman from uh from of of this game. There's also a post the same exact like, postman appears in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. But uh yeah, so where are we gonna go here? I guess over here. I guess there. So this is yep. <laughs> Yep. She's also got a beak for some reason. She looks human enough, but she also apparently also has a beak for her nose. So yeah. And it's the father's weather. So I have to bring this to him pretty much. So yeah. I'll try to figure out a, a, a voice for this character eventually. I'll try to think of one whenever we come across her again. It's my favorite to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of the tunnel? Dragon Rose Cabin, what? I'll explain everything then. Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. oh man. It's really, this is the thing where I think it's... Getting, Yo, yeah, that guy looks a lot like... That guy looks a lot like the old postman from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. So here's this little game that we gotta do. I think that green one is Tinkles logo right there. Uh, yeah. I'll try to give it my best shot. Boom. Oops. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, 
学。